What has been on my mind is <clears throat> how so many people have been deceived and fooled and could not see what happens right before their eyes. When you take a look at a communist country and the methods they used to use to uh, torture the American soldiers was the first thing they did was isolate them, which happened in this country with a certain force to separate you from the church, your families, whatever. Then the second thing they did was send night and day propaganda where you only hear the state's uh, side of everything. You don't hear any voice against them. No one is allowed to speak against them. That is not a country that America is supposed to be, but that is what has been happening. The method used is to brainwash. That's what they do, to get them vulnerable, to get them to a place where they don't understand. So in a lot of places, even though the death was not what they said it was, they chalked it up to it so that they could build up this crescendo to control. That being said, then shutting off what is in this country has always been freedom of speech. Those of you who are awake know that if anything that you have in your home to defend your home is taken away from you, that's what they're after. There was a country that took all of them and they had a holocaust because the holocaust was some, from the simple fact is they could take over anybody that didn't have a way to defend themselves so they could take their guns and take over. The children were indoctrinated according to what they wanted and what they fed, the propaganda they fed constantly. I'm talking about two different countries two different methods, and this is what they talk about, third world countries. These were third world countries. They weren't America. America was designed to be different. So while they take you and brainwash you, and you might not like this, but this is true, because they infiltrated your mind and everything else with Hollywood. This, is, this was a, a real beginning for them, a real foothold. To change the attitude towards your culture, towards your Christianity. To change your attitude towards God making a male and female. To change your attitude towards what individuals do with the same gender, to change your attitude towards everything, to slowly infiltrate your mind, to make you think certain things are harmless when actually they're deadly. They're deadly to you more than anything else because the thing you need to understand is when you have gotten so far that you enjoy pleasure, more than you enjoy serving God or wanting to be in God, with God. The flesh, it, it doesn't want to read the word. The flesh doesn't want to have anything to do with God. But the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So these people count on your hypocrisy. They literally depend upon it. They depend upon your leaders to feed you and your leaders help them because your leaders, they don't care. You pay them a little bit of money and they have their jet planes. They have their 
sanctuaries, they have everything. So what do they care about you? If they cared about you, they would not buy and sell the gospel. They would never sell you out like that. They would not use you as merchandise. We ourselves are responsible for our thinking and for our actions and for our reaction to what has been happening in this country. We are going to answer for our future, for we are allowing them to take the babies and do what they want to with them. You know, it started out with... Uh, crushing the heads, and then it finished up with a full-term abortion where the baby is actually born, but they are able to kill it. And in some states, they're allowed to kill it after seven days. These things never would have come about in this country if the Christian would have been obeying God. You say, well, it's not my fault. I'm, I didn't. Well, you know what? If you've seen it coming and you voted to let them in, when you've seen it coming and you didn't do a thing, you didn't pray, you didn't anything, you just let it come. Because you were too busy. You were too busy, wrapped up in prosperity, wrapped up in never having a better home, a bigger car, all of this stuff. You were too busy listening to them preach and teach how to get those things. And if you're not blessed, you're not of God. And if you're not comforted by God, then surely it's the devil telling you that you've sinned and it's wrong and you need to repent. This has been going on for a long, long time. It's didn't just develop. So God decided to send somebody who was going to change things to bring people back to God. And how that was to be done, because when it got to a place a few years ago, that people who had power and control were slowly taking over, at first before they were taking over you the culture, the churches. Now they're taking over the government. Slowly, they've been doing this where you can barely see it because, see, they've got you busy. They've got you busy in so many different ways. But you don't realize the children that you allow them to mutilate so they can't have sex, to mutilate to change their sex. I mean, babies, children. They're doing this now with them in certain places. It's only a beginning because they have test spots. Now, how they did this, all of this, and were able to do it, is they propagandize you and they start to point the finger to assassinate the character of a certain person. The personal life of that person, it's not, it's not worth enough to say how awful. When you weigh it against what is happening to children by those that claim to be so righteous, when you weigh the fact that no one, you, you literally wind up in jail if you protest. You literally wind up, you, you know, they, they use it to say, well, it's, a, it's an influence from another country and we want to make sure that doesn't happen. So they have their armed guards to stop you, okay? And then they brag on the, on the news that nobody shows up when by the thousands they showed up because the heart of America is not bought and paid for by money. The heart of America is uh, bought and paid for by doing exactly what this country 
was formed for, and that is to worship God the way the Bible tells them to in Christ Jesus. But you've seen them. Yet they hate those that guns in the Bible. They made everything, just like they made it in Hollywood, that if you followed the Bible, every guy they had in the Bible, he was nuts. He went crazy. Every every movie you ever saw, if anybody followed the Bible, he was either uh, an adulterer like Gantry or something. But everything was made evil concerning that Bible. <clears throat> now, there are not all of them, but they formed your image of what God is about. So even when they took the Ten Commandments, which was a phenomenal movie, and some of it would have truths in it, and that is what saves you. Because <clears throat> even in the, in the movie Passion, some of it had truths in it, so it could guide you and help you. Because if you got one little piece of truth, it was able to lead you into all truth. So it backfires on them. Control is a terrible thing in a country. When you have the only voice and you censor everybody else and you won't let them have freedom of speech to talk against you and tell the truth about you, this is really a bad thing. Because this isn't America. It is, we are no longer living in America. We are heading towards the kind of state that will tell you everything to do. And worse yet, our future leaders, they are being worse than propagandized. They're being produced and things done to them so they have no soul, no value for right or wrong, no understanding for it. Because if they can catch you when you're five years old, they can have you for the rest of their life. Understand what I'm saying to you. Wake up. Look around you. You go to church. You read your Bible. And like I told you, that one woman says, I read my Bible and I got it this way, this way, and this, this is all I want. I don't want to know anything else. I don't want to, I don't know if so and so is dying over here. I don't want to know if this one is having a problem over there. I just want me and God. That's not Christianity. Then you have the one that goes to church every Sunday, every Wednesday, does everything and works, but still they go home and they watch their filthy soap operas. They sit down and they lust after other men or other women. They listen to the, the demon-possessed singers. They and, and they go to church. But see, they go to church and they read their Bibles. And oh, they study together. They have their little workbooks. They do everything. And this, my friend, is wrong. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm not trying to help hurt you. I'm only trying to help you to understand what is being done to you. People in other countries see what's going on here. They laugh at us because we are the only country now that doesn't hear the truth. The people do not hear the truth. They're not allowed because they will come against you slap you in jail and do whatever they want to to you. And they will, the, the accusation, they know the mind of people like you. It's hypocritical. They know that they can have all of these invasions come in, children getting raped and murdered. They have no, uh, no, uh, record of even who they are, their names, but they, they could harvest as many children as they want in sex trafficking and everything else. So they just release it and they release the, the drug cartels. They release everything into America like this. And they know 
that they can get away with this because people like you put them in office. People like you think you listen to the propaganda say, oh, so-and-so, he didn't cry for the woman that was, the little girl that was raped. Well, neither did that man cry for the millions of babies that they killed and ripped apart and sold the parts. Neither did he cry for the women that were little girls that were raped by the invasion of the country. Neither did he cry for anybody. The hypocrites stand there, and here's what they do. You have one case over here, and they use it as an example, and they propagandize with it. And they get your mind on that. You say, oh, that's wrong. But they get you so busy at hating this one that you don't see all of this and what they're doing in secret. You don't see that the worst thing that could happen to this country is to have only one party that shuts up everybody else. You don't see that that, that is, uh, is as good as any as China, as any third world country would be. Because this is what they do. This is how they treat their people. They don't tell them anything. They tell them only what they want them to know. So the media that supports these people feeds you daily. And you're so ignorant, you stand here and say, I got to know the truth. I, I mean, I got to listen to this. And I, I said it before, you use the news as entertainment. Because you even know, okay, so some of you know you're not allowed to watch pornography. And, and those of you that watch these filthy soap operas and read these harlequin books and do all of this and then still have your sing-alongs on Sunday and all of that, you, you don't even realize what you're doing to not only your own soul, but to the future of America by falling asleep and hating the things of God enough that you support the evil. Whether you're young, whether you're old, those, they, they, they want the whites to hate the blacks, the blacks to hate the whites. Even the whites fight to hate, hate the whites, forgetting that they're white. They want one against another. They want wives against husbands, husbands against the wives. They don't want anybody to get together because they want you, they want you busy. They want your mind busy. So they use the propaganda of making money for the church. And they use the propaganda in every form that they can find. And they assassinate the character of anybody they don't want in office or don't like. They assass they literally assassinate them. That's what this that's what this uh, arrest was all about. Was to totally destroy and make sure that this person could never bring back the laws of God that were once in this country. Could never bring back. There's only two. Male and female made him them. Made he them. You could never. They, they don't want you to ever bring that back. And the foolishness of fickle-minded people that look at what they center on one thing over here to distract you. It's because you have no Christ here or here. You would do better in which this. I've been telling it to you until it morning you. And he who has a mind to hear, hear. Understand, if you don't get alone with God and see Jesus Christ, how he told you plainly, the weightier matters are important to God. Which is more important? To protect people in, in office so that nobody, nobody else has a voice. Nobody else can say or do anything. Or to protect the children from being forced to have changes that they should never even be thinking of. To teach them in school things they should never. Their innocence is being taken off of them. They're being robbed. And from the time they 
are coming out, out into school and everything else, they are being controlled and they're going to be like robots with no soul, no feeling, no nothing. Because once you chemically change everything in a person, they're capable of anything because they have no place, no seed of reason where God can go. So they're taking them when they're little to do this. And you help them. You know how you help them? Oh, my, look at what he did. Look at what he said, even though it doesn't hold water. Oh, my, he is this. They be Now in this country, the accusation is enough to say you're guilty. That's the way they do it. It's, it's proof that you're guilty if, if they say, and they're going to railroad you any way they want to. Unfortunately for you, if you don't have Jesus Christ, you're not going to stand up to it. You're not even going to want to. Say what you will about me. Say what you will to me. Do what you want to have at it. But understand one thing. You're heading for a path that is so bad, you can't even imagine it. And I'll tell you why. Because read the word and what he says. The wrath of God is manifest upon every soul that doeth evil. And God says when he judges evil, if this guy has problems and personal problems, and this guy is destroying a whole country, you better take a good look at what's going on. If this news media is protecting and keeping them and shutting everything else off and feeding you constantly hatred, constantly. I mean, you're being fed a constant hatred for a man that does not deserve What's being done to them? So pick who you want. Do what you want. But you know, there's even somebody that's against me. And you know, when they started against me was when I picked up the truth and said that, uh, that this man belonged to God. Oh, I hear tell he runs after everybody to destroy them. He is what you call a spiritual assassin of character. And that is where he is against me. He wants to assassinate my character, assassinate my book, destroy me completely. <laughs> and I laugh because he can't. But the country is a different story. They don't have, uh, everybody doesn't have faith. Everybody doesn't have the power to stand up against a demon. Everybody doesn't have the will or the want to to stand up and look them straight in the eye and say, hey, payday's coming. God won't put up with this. Not everybody can do that. You know what they do? They run and hide. When darkness comes, they hide in a corner. They don't want to talk to anybody. They don't want to see nobody. They don't want to know nothing. I know nothing. Well, the Lord told me, don't be afraid of faces, what they can say about you and what they can do. Or even if they can destroy your body, be afraid of the one that after he's done destroying your body, he can destroy your soul. For eternal eternity. So hide. If that's what you will, you hide. And then you creep out on voting day and you vote because you're afraid to vote for the right because they may come and get you. That's how bad it is now. You're afraid to come out because, hey, look at all those people that were locked up that didn't do anything wrong. And you say, well, they did, they proved they did. Look, I'm not talking about the people that did the wrong. I'm talking about the people that they used.
to go before the people that had a sincere heart. I'm not talking about that group that that did all the damage. I'm talking about what they did with it and the, the mockery of God that they made out of it. Because you see, it's only going to last so long. Don't you see? Your life here is temporary. You have to waken up. You have to understand you are allowing the future of America's children to go straight down the tubes. You know, I heard America is going, has gone to hell. It sold itself out. People who have the power to change things, to make sure these things don't happen. I'm telling you, God is looking more at the children than he's looking at anybody's personal life. And other people who hate that person, they're terrified that he will win and change the laws that you cannot rape little children's minds, hearts, and beings. That's why they got to get him. They've got to stop him. Because he's going to change things around and lead people back to God simply by doing the right thing.